Hi everybody, Dacov here. Welcome back to the fashion bunker. Look at all the beigeness. Oh, also some black and white going on here, but I'm like camely, a little bit of pink, a little bit of silver touches, creamy beigey moods and swings because I wanted to dress for the occasion. It's an unboxing. Oh, and I'm wearing gardenia, by the way, the eau de parfum of the Les Exclusives. I'm working it. I'm going to make another review of it because I'm really, really working with it. I'm using a lot of it. I'm experimenting how it is on the skin, how it is on the clothes. How does it react on cotton as opposed to wool or synthetics, acrylic? Um, silk. Uh, silk, you got to be, it's a bit dangerous. You don't want to stain it. So you got to spray it at a distance. And I'm kind of mixing how it smells on the skin as opposed to how it smells on the clothes mixed together. I'm making it work for me, I have to say. I'm really enjoying gardenia in the middle of winter. Very, very fascinating. More so than in summer. So let's see what, what the future uh, reviews bring. We're talking Chanel today. As you've noticed on the uh, thumbnail and title, this is a very belated Christmas present from a very, very dear person to me who got me this Christmas present. A bit later on in, in the game of Christmas presents, in terms of when in the in the year should you purchase a Christmas present. Well, since I don't even really celebrate Christmas per se, but holidays in general, it don't matter. When you know, for me, the right time to gift somebody any sort of present, or let's just put it this way: when is the right time to give a present to somebody or to gift a present to somebody? Any time is the right time to gift a present to somebody. You can find any reason to gift a present to somebody. And it can be any sort of reason. So anyway, there was a reason behind this because this particular piece took a while to be available. In the constellation, I needed it to be available in. Super cryptic for something so simple. So for the first time ever, um, it kind of pokes out of the bag. I kind of like this uh, differentiation of like from the black to the white. I kind of always like when, when the tissue paper kind of pokes out from the bag, but usually stuff is bigger. The bags are bigger than the content. Um, but anyway, let's unbox it together, shall we? Let me just put, push the mic. I hope I won't forget to bring it back where it was before. All right. Tissue paper. ASMR. Chanel tissue paper. ASMR. Okay. So, all right. And um, put it aside. Ooh, isn't it gorgeous? Okay, microphone is back where it belongs. Um, I've never had a box this flat. It almost looks like a chocolate candy or, or candied fruits or something. Now, since I'm on a low carb diet since quite some time, I am craving chocolate, but I don't eat it. Unless I have a cheat day. But for the rest of the time, I see a box like this and I think, you know, I'm very Forrest Gump and, you know, laugh is like a... Why am I saying laugh? <laughs> it's not like, oh well. Anyway, it, yes, life is like, uh, what is it called? A box of chocolate candies. Well, what candy is in here? It is so pretty. I'm loving the flatness. Very elegant. Look at that. Let's zoom in again. And the camellia is going to probably fall. I got to take it off. because, Or maybe it won't fall. If it falls, it falls. Whatever. We'll pick it up. Okay. It wasn't just like the elegant way of just like pulling the ribbon off and it's done. No. It... it <laughs> It was tied very securely. It almost looks, it almost looks like a 45 inch or something like, you know, one of those, like, it's a bit bigger than a regular record size box, regular single, you know, just a, a single version of, of a, of a vinyl. 
Oh, how cute. It even has the tissue paper on the inside with a sticker. This was packaged with a lot of love. I'm always very careful to bring the microphone back to me. Okay. Oh, uh, I don't want to ruin this. This is... Uh... Well, I think a lot of you have already guessed by the flatness of this what it is. And I've never really been so much into... <laughs> into this sort of stuff. Uh, from Chanel in particular. But I fell in love with this one. It's a scarf. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so pop art, to me at least, because it has the um, the classic Chanel beige color and it has the classic slim sling backs from Chanel, but kind of mm, drawn on all over the silk uh, carré um, as if they were like original sketches, not sketches, original drawings of the shoe. So they depict a product, but in a very poppy way, it's just multiplied to infinity from all different sides. And uh, it's a game of beige, white, and black. Those are Coco's symbol colors. I love all three of them. Now you see why I'm wearing what I'm wearing. I have white. It's a bit of Vivian, white and black. A little bit of beige and cream. A little bit of camel. Touch of pink and some silver. Okay, let's come in close so I can show you the details. So, guys, I'm going to talk a bit louder because I don't know with this new mic how much you can capture my voice or not. Let me pull this up so you could see it all the way until, so you see the border, until it hits, bam, the logo just on that one side. But every shoe also has kind of, depending on from which angle it's been drawn. And then we have the little tag here. Their scarves are, or carrés are like 99% of them are made in Italy. That's not the best thing, but oh well. 100% silk. There's no washing this baby except um, dry cleaning. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, oops, hit the mic. Okay, let's put it on. So again, you know how I style these in many different ways. I, I sometimes I just wear it like this if there's not a lot of wind, uh, meaning it won't just blow away as you walk. But it's a very thick twill type of wool. Wool? What am I talking about? I'm so tired. Uh, silk. So it's not a very... It's it, it, it feels very robust. It feels very thick, you know. It's not... It's going to take some time to break into it not break it, but break into it to make it softer because it's, it's very stiff. It almost feels like it's been starched. You know how you do with some cotton uh, linens, you, you starch them to take the wrinkles out of them and to keep them kind of flat and in shape. And that makes them feel a little bit more cardboardy. This is how this very thick silk feels like. It feels like really high quality silk. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to wear this one quite a bit. I'm not thinking of just archiving this piece. I want to wear it. So I want it to become softer with time, which I'm sure it will. But let me show you how um, another way that I would like to wear this one. Um, of course, in this combination now, you know, you just let it hang. Very nonchalant. Like, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just wearing a scarf. <laughs> I really like to um, tie them up like little capes. Now, I know that's super awkward uh, not many people do it well, we don't care we do what we want to do we do it for ourselves we don't do it for others so i would just tie a little knot this two knots so it doesn't open up <laughs> i mean this is you know whatever a lot of people are used to wear things in traditional ways i like to just let them hang just letting it hang. So this is kind of another version. Too close to the camera so you can't really see. But you know what I mean? And then sometimes it just maybe flips a little to the back. You could open it up a bit more like this. So it almost, it almost um, stands up like a collar if you want. And I think that's a really kind of easy way to, to wear it. Now this, however, 
is the triangle version of wearing it, which means I have tied together in a knot the opposite diagonal sides of the scarf, of the carré, so you get this triangle. But you could also, instead of doing the longer version triangle, you could do one side only and tie that together. So let's see how that looks like. Mm, I should take the side without the tag. Let's do it like this. It almost looks like a, it looks like a huge Chanel bib. I'm not so sure this is a good idea to wear it like this. I think it's better to do. <laughs> Welcome to the Chanel bib uh, store. This, this version doesn't work. This is too... I mean, if you really want to do the cape. But, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I, I ain't locking it. But, I mean, it's... I look like a ninja turtle that's wearing um, Chanel shoes. Chanel shoes on it on the cape. So that's another way. Which, of course, we're probably not going to wear that way. Um, then... We could just fold it in one side like that, make it very short, almost like a towel, you know, in a boxing match or after a boxing match, very sporty, <laughs> sporty. But you know what I mean? Like this, the tendency of it flying off, I mean, it's probably going to fly off super easy if you do that. You could also, which I would never do because I don't want to make poke holes into this, you could put a brooch here and kind of block the scarf like that or the carré and then just hold it in place. Hermes has some beautiful, I don't know if they still produce them, but they used to have them, um, rings for scarves, like silver or metal rings that you could use. They have kind of a, almost like a horse bit shape. And then you could kind of, um, they also give you little booklets and show you how you could use those scarf accessories to combine and bind and knot your scarves together. So that's kind of a thing to consider. I don't know if Chanel makes those as well, but it would be kind of interesting as well or you could do this and just tie it into a little almost like a little ribbon <laughs> this looks like i have a sore throat which i don't thank goodness but uh it looks like i do i'm loving this color this is just this collar <laughs> because now right now it's a collar i think that's not so cool uh, because the wool the wool why am i saying wool all the time because the silk is so thick um the print of the shoes, which is beautiful and very, very saturated, the black and white is just so intense in contrast to the beige on the right side. On the flip side, because the silk is so thick, um, the the paint, the print, the silk print, I don't know how they did it anyway, it doesn't really go through as much. What does this mean? This means that um, the print is a bit more pale in the back. Let me show you the back of the scarf. I mean, you still see on camera, it still works totally. But this is the back. Now we flip it. This is the front. The front is a bit more saturated. As I mean, as saturated as black and white can be, or as saturated as beige can be. But, I mean, it doesn't matter. You can always, like, pay attention to which side you, you wear it on. There's a little um, feather on it. <laughs> I just took it off. Because, um... There's a bit of feathers flying around here because I had a feather jacket on before. Look at this. It's like, I'm just looking at all the details of it. It's, um, it's very interesting how the black has been printed on here. I mean, there's a very strong black pigmentation going on. And... It looks like a pretty delicate scarf, even though the, the silk is very thick, because I see everywhere that they, I mean, this should have been, you know, they don't state it, but I think, um, you know, for, uh, for a silk scarf in a luxury price range as Chanel, they should be hand rolled and then hand sewn together. And I think they are because um, they have uh, the, the stitch, uh, of the rolling has an uneven distance you know each each extra little stitch has an uneven distance which kind of tells me that this looks like it's been hand rolled a hand rolled six which is, is, is silk which is not easy to do but with every stitch in there um 
they got to shift the silk a little bit to the side. So, which is totally normal. That's not a flaw, but I can see through the shifting of the actual silk, how delicate that this scarf really is, even though the silk is very thick. So whatever, that's fine. You also got to learn to love your pieces and wear them without being too afraid of them getting ruined because you live only one life. So it's not like um, you're going to get a chance to keep it in a closet waiting for you until like what one day you get a chance to wear it. Well, that day might just never come. So just enjoy it while it lasts, you know, and I have to tell that self to, I have to, t I have to say that to myself every day because I have a tendency of kind of <laughs> archiving things, especially sunglasses, you know, my little, uh, addictions and vices, but I'm thinking, um, I really have to, that's one of the things I want to do this year is, is wear more my archive pieces, like really do more with them. Uh, and with, especially if I get a gift something from people that I, that I love. I really want to kind of treasure that more, not treasure it in terms of coveted and hide it, you know, uh, in, inside my closet, but treasure it with pride and dignity, which means wear it, use it, you know, like live it, live that love that's been inserted into an object because the object becomes a present, a gift. And that, so the, somebody expresses their love to you and then they make, give, give you a gift. So a part of their emotions and energies in that gift. So you wearing, if it's a piece of clothing that, that they gifted you or accessory, jewelry, whatever, you, by wearing that present, you, by that present that's been given to you, you, this is just my, the way I see things, you live, you get to live that love that they've given you. So for example, when you guys, this is how I see it, when you guys comment under my videos on my channel, um, uh, to me, it always, well, when you, when you, you know, of course, when you write positive <laughs> comments, like not just positive comments, but also constructive criticism, but not when you're just trolling, the trolling people, we're not even going there. But when, when you leave a comment, a loving comment under my video, that's a present to me. That's a gift to me. So a lot of you write me, you're so surprised that I answer to so many comments, as many as I can. Uh, but I do that because that's the way I wear you. Like, it's like your comments are an accessory or a piece of clothing that you're gifting me. And I like to wear it. How do I wear it? I wear it by reading it and answering you. <laughs> so that's kind of the, it, it's a similar approach to it. You know, I, I wear all those comments that you leave under my videos. Um, I wear them around my heart all the time. I, I carry them with me all the time. The memory of all the words and the texts and the poetry that you send me, it's, it's an accessory. I accessorize my heart with it. Uh, so this is, of course, it's a very material thing. It's a scarf or a hat or whatever. Uh, but if, if somebody gifts me an object, I also wear it. Does that make any sense? I hope it did. Um, Good. But anyway, so thank you so much for watching this video. I will cut it here, basically. I hope you would like this scarf. If you do like it, let me know uh, if you do. And especially like these colors. It's almost pinky, but it's not. It's, it's beige, black and white. Chanel's three famous colors. And gardenia perfume. I'm wearing that one because it's a white floral to this kind of light combo that I'm wearing on today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you have, please do thumb it up. And subscribe to my channel here on YouTube, if you haven't already. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So guys, we live only one life. No matter what you have, if you love it, it's in your life, wear it, carry it. Whether it be in your heart or on top of your body. No matter how you do it, do it with love and dignity and never give up on love. Love you guys. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Come on.